Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm coming at you in all my foundationless glory because in this video, we're gonna be trying out Il Maquillage's foundation. Before we dive into it, I do wanna let you know that some of the links in the description box below are affiliate links, which means that if you decide to click on them and make a subsequent purchase, I will earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. So if you're not familiar with this brand, and I certainly wasn't until the glory of Instagram ads, this brand offers a try before you buy type deal or promotion, whatever you want to call it. So you basically answer a series of questions online and they tell you which shade foundation is going to work for you. And based on the ads that I've seen and the promos, you know, all that good stuff, it looks like a darn near perfect identical match via some questions online, you know, not even having tried it in the store or anything like that. So it's safe to say that I was certainly intrigued. So a few months back, I actually did take the test and I was given shade 120 as my match. But at that time I decided I wasn't gonna go and purchase. I just figured I wasn't going anywhere yet. And you know, we were in the middle of COVID quarantine, all that jazz. And so I just, decided to hold off and kind of also to kind of give it some time so that this particular brand would pop up on my feet again and I could take that test again to see if I get the same color match. And sure enough, you know, a number of months passed and it came up again in my feed. So I took that test again and again, it gave me the same number, 120. And the reason I know is because I saved the uh, match number that they had provided me that first time so that I could in fact refer back to it and see, did I get the same color match? So I did. And this time, you know, it caught me at the right time. I'm like, you know what, let's do it. So I ordered the color, the try before you buy, whole promotion, all that good stuff. I've got color 120 in here. So we're gonna try it together on camera for the first time to see how good of a color match they can do online. And you know, to be honest with you, before we dive into this, I only answered like maybe four questions about my actual skin color to have them help pick what color would match for me. A lot of it was just, you know, what kind of skincare routine do you have? What do you wanna improve? Things like that. So I was really surprised that off a handful of questions quite literally that they were able to tell me what shade would work so i'm really really curious i'm dying to see if this is going to work so here's the box and we've got it looking like that as things fly out hang on a second let's see so this is just a little explanation talking about people getting their foundation wrong and how to do it it says apply two pumps to your entire face jaw and neckline blend with a brush or sponge i have a brush i'll be using my sigma flat kabuki this is f80 so that is the brush that we'll be using and it says wait five minutes for foundation to set before checking shade interesting okay don't match to your neck or wrist they're different tone than your face finish with concealer brush bronzer all that good stuff and wear for a good week or for a full week <laughs> to see if it's perfect for you. And so, yeah, that's the thing. I didn't touch on that. So the whole try before you buy thing, you get it for 14 days, you pay for shipping. And if it works, obviously you keep it and then they charge you the cost of the foundation, which is $44. If not, you tell them it didn't work and then they send you a label and you send it back. So we shall see. Let's see what else is in here. I think this might just be a receipt, packing slip. So we don't need to worry about that. So this is, oh, and there's something else in here. Ooh, okay, so hang on. So this is the foundation. This is the item, the product in question here. So it is called Flawless Base Foundation. It says woke up like this right there. And yes, like I said, the shade is 120. It's not focusing very well, but it is. Oh, okay, so let's see here. Let me see, before I dive into that, what else did they send? Ink liner. Eyeliner would be my guess. So yeah, ink liner black. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, this is a very reminiscent of Charlotte Tilbury's feline flick, which I absolutely love. And I'm very excited to have been sent this extra little makeup item here because I do love this kind of tip. So I'm very excited to give this a try and compare it to Charlotte Tilbury. So that'll be awesome. Okay, let's get back to the main event here with this foundation. I'm so excited. And I'm gonna actually lift these up and out just because we're dealing with foundation and makeup and all that stuff. So 
here we go. How does this open? Oh, there's a little, little piece of tape here that I did not see. All right. Comes like that. Sorry, I don't speak low maintenance. <laughs> That's funny. Right in there. Okay, let's get into this. All right. So here is the bottle. It's still sealed. There we go. And then here's the color number on the bottom, the 120 again. All right, let's get into this. All right. And let's see the color just in the bottle right there. And oh, for what it's worth, I can't believe I didn't mention this up until this point. As you can see here on my lovely makeup list cheeks, I have melasma right on these two little patches here. So I am very curious to see how this will cover that up. This is just such a pain. I am so unhappy that I have to deal with it right there on the cheeks, but you know, what can you do? So let's see here. How does this work? So, ah, I'm sitting here trying to unscrew it and it's a pop-up. Okay, so I shake it because why not? And I'm going to apply some here. It said two pumps, right? Two. That's a lot. The color looks pretty good, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And I have a mirror down here that you can't see on camera. So if you see me looking down, I'm actually looking on camera or on the mirror there, but I'm going to try with this initial swipe to do it on the camera so that we're both looking in the same place. Judgment time. Not bad. Wow. And it's very, it feels very light. Oh my gosh. What is up, you guys? Oh my gosh. Wow. I don't know if the uh, two pumps will be enough. It should be, I mean, really. I mean, I'm not gonna layer it on thick, actually. Take that back, maybe we can just move some of the product. What is up, you guys? Oh my goodness. Well, I actually may need a little more for the forehead. I'm out right there, but, and it said wait five minutes. Oh my. I'm just gonna do it over the nose ring there. I usually take my nose ring off when I'm applying foundation, but forgot to do that here. That's okay. What is happening? How do they do this? <laughs> With a few questions online. This is a solid match. Hold on, let me look in this mirror down here. I'm just trying to see if there's any like foundation line. Oh my Wow. I mean, really, there isn't. Oh, did you guys see my mirror there? <laughs> wow. And it feels, you guys, I said it earlier, yeah. It feels so light. And it did a decent job of covering. You know, the melasma is still peeking through, which is kind of annoying. Let's give another pump here, and maybe we can add a little more, like, layer it. Let's see here. Oh, my goodness. My mind is blowing right now. This is... What sorcery is this, you guys? What? Hold on, let me look at... I think I would need to do a little more work for this melasma, but um, as far as the color match is concerned, wow. This is pretty freaking spot on, you guys. Like there, and I, mind you, when I was applying it on the forehead, I just, you know, I didn't have much to begin with left but I didn't like blend it up into the hairline and you don't really see a difference in color. Whoa. I, yeah, there's a lot of silence in this video cause I'm just kind of like processing all this. What? It looks a little, like I'm looking at myself in this camera here. It looks a little more yellow maybe. 
Hey guys, Future Claudine here. As I'm editing this video, I'm realizing that this foundation did a fantastic job of covering up the redness on my skin. So when I say that the foundation looks a little more yellow compared to my skin tone, that was not a good use of words on my part. It is actually doing its job in evening out my skin tone. So that is a huge plus. It's also worth noting that I probably could have taken a little more time to blend out the foundation on my face but it did say to give it five minutes, so maybe it'll settle. Um, and I do have yellow undertones, so that's not necessarily a bad thing, but maybe it just needs a minute to kind of blend a little better and, and mold into the skin more. My goodness. Wow, okay, I am going to give it five minutes. It is 12.29, and so I'm gonna come back at 12.34 and see how this looks on camera after that. So stand by. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm gonna leave it as is. This is down. I'll be back with you guys in five minutes to see how this looks. All right, guys, I'm back with you. It's been five minutes and this is how it looks now. I mean, there is no, look at that. There's hardly anything, if at all, of like a line. You know, when you're applying your foundation, if you, if you don't pay attention and if the match is not right, you're gonna see a line. Nothing. This is incredible. Let me, I'm, I haven't touched it since I um, cut off the, for those five minutes, but now I'm gonna touch it one more time just to maybe do a better job of camouflaging a bit right here. But I mean, considering I didn't make that crazy effort to like blend down and make sure, you know, like everything matches, this is phenomenal. Oh my goodness, you guys. I did not know what to expect. I was hoping that it would be this good and it is and let me tell you again i've said this i think already twice lightweight wow you really don't feel like you have anything on nothing it's this is wild this is great okay now just to give the product a little more justice i decided to grab my bronzer to kind of you know complete the look so we don't just end with foundation because i think if you add you know what's needed like a bronzer it will kind of give you a better idea of how that foundation looks because right now it's essentially like a blank slate. So let's add some dimension here. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer, shade two. I have shade two and shade three, but shade three is pretty extreme. And right now you can see it's daytime, so I'm not trying to go that, that intense. So let's give it a go and try to add some dimension here to the face and see how that makes everything look. I, I really wish there was a shade between two and three as far as Charlotte Tilbury, not the foundation. Cause I feel like sometimes this is so light and then the three is so like intense. And it's like, it's, ugh, I wish there was a 2.5. Okay. Just do a little glow along the hairline here. What do you guys think? Just a little bit of bronzer. I mean, my goodness. I really think that did help actually uh, with the foundation. It helped the cause as far as to see the match. And cause again, like I said, it was a blank slate. You wanna add some dimension. You wanna like break it up a bit essentially on the face. So having added that bit of bronzer, you guys, wow. I am filming and about to be ending this video with a bit of a blown mind. This is fantastic. Okay, to recap, I purchased, well, I tried before I bought, which I will be keeping this, this is not going back. So the Try Before You Buy color shade that was given to me based on the little assessment I did online, literally little, it was like a handful of questions plus a bunch of others that did not touch on skin tone. So off the handful of questions I did, they recommended shade 120, this is it. This is how it looks and this is how it is on the face. I give it two extraordinary thumbs up and I hope that you will also give this video two extraordinary thumbs up. I highly recommend this foundation. I'm just, okay, I need to wrap this video up because I'm just processing, but this, this is incredible. I will link this down below so that you guys can check it out and see the website and see all the shades that they offer. This is 
I'm, I'm a fan. I'm sold. Classic Claudine has been sold on Il Maquillage Foundation. Let me know what you guys think of this foundation on me. Do you think it's a good match? Have you come across this ad on Instagram? Did you give it a go? What was your experience like? Let me know all that good stuff down in the comments below. Obviously, I can't speak to its long wear because it's literally been at this point now 10 minutes since I applied it for the very first time, but I will certainly be giving it a go for much longer than the 10 minutes that I've been on camera or so, more or less. Um, probably a little longer actually, but um, initial thoughts are plus. I love it. I love it. I love it. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. The subscribe button is right around here somewhere and you'll see a bell there as well. That way, if you ding that bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a video so that you don't miss any of the videos I have that come up on my YouTube channel. So with that being said, I thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.